Hey everyone, how are you today? Uh, we got a bare-faced self today and I want to make sure the lighting's good here too because I'm going to do a little demo. So let me just adjust a little bit of this so I'm not, maybe that's better actually, not as glary. Um, if you are hopping on here live, let me know if the lighting's okay because what I am going to do, um, remember from this non-makeup artist, is actually give you a little demo and what it is it's going to be a demo on just an everyday makeup face to apply um, it should be about a five minute application and it's my products my favorite products that I use and so I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are I will tell you what shades I have so maybe that'll help for your comparison I know I get requests from a lot of people on exactly what I use and my routine and um, so this might help this is gonna be a five step so again I'm Heidi Singer House if I don't know you already thanks for being in this group and feel free to invite anyone else to this group it's open for anyone um, other people have invited um, there's other um, administrators on this group that have might have invited other people on here so um, I'm just here to give you a little demo and maybe give you some ideas on what you can do in your routine and if you need some product recommendations, um, all the better. So, here we go. So, bare naked face, I have cleansed it and I have moisturized it with um, the new counter match, which I'm loving right now. But anyway, what I am going to start out with is our the foundation. So, um, and I'm just gonna give you a little, a little bit of, um, history for me personally. I am not a big makeup person, so it's kind of odd that I, this is my job, but um, I am really proud of the ingredients and the transparency and the performance. So that's what I really, really dig. I do makeup every once in a while, um, and sometimes it's very, very minimal. What I'm putting on today is my, it might be more my evening, but it could be your daytime, so, because I don't wear a ton. Okay, so anyway, what I have here is the Tint Skin. Now the Tint Skin is a product that is a foundation and it has a um, moisturizing full coverage and it is very buildable. But here's the kicker, okay? So let me know if you have this brush. Who applies their foundation with the brush? Let me know, um, comment in there. I would be very curious. I personally have never applied a foundation with the brush. I mean, I always thought I'd do like those, um, the minerals with the brush, and then I've seen that a lot, but not liquid. So, this is what I do. I actually just put a little bit right here, um, it's kind of on the side of my palm, and I don't use a ton. That's all I've got right there. And this is sand color, for those of you who would like to know what color. And then I take this brush, and I blot it onto here, and then this is what I do. So I go, I have a mirror over here too, so I'm kind of looking. I'll get closer so you guys can see in a minute. I basically just blot, blot it on, get all the excess, blot. And then I just use a circular motion to rub it in. And I'm still hoping the lighting's good for you, so I should have put my hair up. Hope you can all see that get all the excess now this product is very buildable so um, like for instance if I have um, I do have a concealer that I'll show you as well that's part of the process but um, if you feel like you need a little more coverage in some areas that's what I really like about it is because I'll just add another little maybe plop right there and I'll blot and then I'll just do maybe a little extra coverage over here if I feel I need it. And always remember, um, this is coming from my makeup expertise, um, you wanna blend down, right? Don't want any lines, take it all the way across. All right. Okay, so that's my base of foundation. That's called the Tint Skin. And so the next step that I go to is, Actually, eyebrows look at look at I don't have any 
And I do, I have gone back and forth with actually tinting my eyebrows because I have really blonde ones. But um, I ne used to never, who, who does their eyebrows? I want to know. Who um, either tints them or uses pencil? Like, I look so weird now. I, I feel like I look so different without eyebrows. So this is what I've learned. So you want to take, this is our pencil. And mine, I've used quite a bit. Mine's really short because I sharpened it down. But this is our pencil. And it is, this is the light um, color. And it has a brush on one end. So first of all, I'll just take that brush and I will brush those up and out. And again, since they're so light, you may not be able to see, but I'm gonna show you doing one. So what you do, I always like to take up this up in the arch. Okay, so if you haven't done eyebrows, it can be a game changer. <laughs> Um, again, this is, I've learned this from the, actually the celebrity makeup artist that's in, in our company. And then actually if Julie Niederhauser ends up watching this, she's got great tips too. So she's probably watching this like, Heidi, what the heck are you doing? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> hi Julie, if you're there. Um, anyway, so I start here and what I'm going to do is start to make a little outline and then I'm going to take it just tiny little strokes. Can you see how I'm doing that? Tiny strokes. I'm going to take it over to the, oh, I think I got a little bit. And then just kind of fill it in. See how light I am. I do like doing the tinting of the eyebrows. I've um, found a place in Woodbury that uses a real safe tint. It's a, I believe it's a, um, shoot, what is it? Uh, Tara knows. It's a, I think it's a vegetable oil, or it's a vegetable um, based tint. So anyway, so I might go in and do that, but I don't mind doing this either. Look at like the difference already. Can you see that? It's, it's a big difference. And then I'll take that and then I'll groom that again, make sure it's all blended. And again, I think there's just a little glare. So I wanna make sure that you guys can see this. And in there, okay. So there's one, there's the no, the none. And then let's do the same thing on this side. All right, am I going past five minutes already? I'm talking a lot. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna start out with just kind of getting that base outline. Small strokes. I'm pulling up here just to kind of help create that arch a little bit. Still following my line though. So before, I probably like learn that I, like I'm 40 whatever eight years old <laughs> and I just figure out how to do my eyebrows I mean come on really so anyway um, so I've learned a lot actually doing um, working with beauty counter on makeup application <laughs> so it's always you know you can still learn things every day okay and then I'm going to brush those out Needed a little more. Okay, so eyebrows. That was two. That was step two. Okay, next concealer. So um, today is not too bad of a under eye dark circle day. Here's a tip though. This is what I find under eye circles. If I haven't drank enough water, I get more under eye circles. And if I eat a lot of salty stuff like the day before, I notice that I get a lot of under eye circles, let me know if you ever get that. I'm really curious. Um, I notice that a lot. So dehydration and a lot of salt gives me under eye circles, <laughs> dark circles. So anyway, what we have here is a concealer and it's a pen. So um, I take the cap off and you can just pump it up, but it has its own little, you can see I've been using this a lot. It's um, its own little brush applicator on the top. So I'm gonna give it a little pump there. And 
what I do. So I used to think I'd just go like this, right? But now, you actually take it and go, let's see if you can see. Take it all the way across. And then actually I'm gonna come up and take it all the way around. So it's pretty generous there, but the reason for this is that if a lot of times if you just stick it right under here, the shadow of your cheek will create a, another, um, it'll create a line and make it look like you still have circles under there. So by having this come all the way across, all the way down here, and just, you know, obviously really blend. I just use my ring finger or my pinky to do that. And I gotta look in the mirror here because I can't see what I'm doing. And this, putting it on your eyelid, really gives it a nice, just matte color. So if you do want to apply, I'm not going to do an eyeshadow today, but if you do want to apply an eyeshadow, then that'll give a great base for it. But it also gives you a nice, really clean look. Really natural, all right? Now, if you have a little, I have like a little blemish thing going on right there. So I'm going to just kind of blend that in. Now, some people also, you know, like those really... Um, you know, people that know how to do stuff, they know how to contour and stuff, they'll actually use this as a, a lighter one, and this one actually might work for me, but they'll do a little contour like above here and then on the nose. Um, so I'm not gonna get into all that right now because that's a little advanced for me. So, um, but that's the concealer. Great for the under eyes. I, I recommend going all the way around the eye and then great for little blemishes. And this color that I have um, the thing I like about this really, you know how those typically a lot of them will sit and then they sit in your fine lines and then you look like you're like 80 years old. This one I really love because it's soft, it feels moisturizing. It's great. And this one is called Light. There's a fair, a light. So if anybody ever is looking at what I'm using and you need a color recommendation, just holler at me, okay? So that was one, two, three steps. Okay, next, blush. Now our blushes come in a little compact, two-tone. You can see that I use, let's see if you can see this. Oh, let's take it back. I use this a lot. Um, again, let me get this. Okay, so my two-tone, I use the one color more than the other color. Um, there's, every one of our blushes have two colors. Um, so this one has more like a, a little darker and a little brighter one, but I'm just gonna use the one for now because it's just my regular kind of real natural look. And I'm just gonna take my brush, um, make sure you have a good quality brush, and you smile, and just kinda, you wanna pat. So whenever you think about putting powders on, you don't wanna like wipe. You wanna think about patting. This is another tip I learned in my elder years. And so you're really just looking on the balls, here are the apples of your cheeks, and then just kinda blend blend it out a little bit with a light, light touch. Okay, so we are getting there. I'll go back a little bit, you can kind of see me still a little bit. And I'm gonna move this so you can kind of see everything. Okay, so we are getting to the end here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think there's any gentlemen on here, but anyway, we won't, um, we won't judge if they are. So, last step, oh actually no, this is not the last step. So I had the foundation, I had the concealer, I had the brows, I had the blush, and I have the mascara. So um, I am actually going to only do my uppers, upper lashes, and again, I have really blonde, thin eyelashes. What I really, really like about this applicator, it's super tiny, so it grabs easily, and so when you do this, you want to get to the base and then do the little jiggle at the bottom. And I'm going to go over to the mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing here. I have a mirror on this side. And this is a real natural, it's a lengthening mascara. And this also is buildable. So I just have one layer on this eye right now and I'll do the other eye. But if you wanted to build it and make it a little more dramatic, you can. 
Again, hold it at that base and then wiggle it up. Probably a lot slower than a lot of people do this. I don't know. Maybe it's because my I barely have any lashes, so it takes me longer to find them. Not sure about all that, but anyway, I just add a little extra for a little lengthening. And I'm not doing any eyeliner today. I'm not doing um, any shadow. But what I will do, and I guess this is six then, so maybe I lied. Because um, I had the foundation, I had the brow, I had the concealer, I had the blush, and a mascara, and now gloss. So real natural gloss. Our glosses are all, um, they're not sticky. And this one's called Dahlia. So when you're doing a gloss, you're just going to like go in the... Um, little heart shaped area of your lip kind of pat it on there and don't go mm, you know kind of how some people put it on and then they like wrench their lips all around just really think about patting it kind of like how we did the powder otherwise we lose all of that and then and that's it so that was um, almost five minutes <laughs> but it could be five minutes if you know what you're doing and you're not trying to talk to everybody at the same time um, now I could probably fix my hair and I'd be ready for the day or the night. Um, but I just wanted to show you that. So it's pretty easy and someone like an average person like me that doesn't really know a lot about makeup, um, you could probably do this better than I did. But if you have any questions on any of these items, these are what I use every day or every day that I put makeup on. And um, I can give you suggestions on, you know, colors or or how it would work for you as well. But I really wanted to put this together because a lot of people ask me, okay, what's your routine? You know, if I'm looking to switch out to safer, healthier products, what should I start with? So these items are kind of a real basic um, thing to get started with. So again, any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is kind of my real basic face here and um, maybe someday I'll try to do some really dramatic stuff, but I might have to practice that. All right, thanks for watching and take care. Have a great day. Bye.